Okay, so our goal in this video is to draw this shape right here. I'm going to copy and paste it so I have an extra. To draw it only using a single line. And another way of looking at that is to say that every time we have an intersection of edges, in this case we can assume that they're going to be vertices. And every one of these vertices can be viewed as an island. And each of the lines in between, which we call edges, as bridges. So the question then becomes, how do we start at an island, cross the bridges to get to all the other islands without having to repeat any bridge? And if I look around at the degree of each of vertice, which is the number of edges going to it, uh, I notice that many of them right, are even. So for example, here, the degree is 2. Here, the degree is 1, 2, 3, 4. The degree is 2 here, 4, 2. But this one, the degree is 1, 2, 3. And this one, the degree is 2. Here, the degree is 3. And here, in the middle, the degree is 4. Now, and I'll develop this in other videos on the theory, not the worked examples. But when you have a case where there are two vertices and they have um, an odd degree, that means you have to start at one of them and go to the other. The, the Kind of the point being that whatever is in the middle, let's say we have a magical box of, of graph. right? I start at A. I leave A and then I get to B, right? Well, notice that A and B both have an odd degree. And that makes sense, right? To get away from A, I have to leave it, and to get to B, I have to finish there. I can't get to B and then leave it. There's only one bridge, it's an odd amount. And the same is true for higher numbers of edges, as long as they're odd. If I leave A, right, and I eventually come back to B, now they're both even, I don't have to finish A or B, but let's say A is three edges and B has three edges. Well that means I have to leave A, travel through the graph, and eventually I'll hit B. And then when I leave B, I come back to A. And now notice we're back in the same situation. I can leave A, but I have to eventually finish at B because it has three edges going to it. So instinctively, and I, and I do prove that and talk about that more in other videos, I have to start here or here. I don't think it matters which one, but let's start here, go up, change my pen stroke, go this way, and I'm okay, I'm just kind of wandering around. It's not very efficient, but I'm not trying to do this in an efficient way, I'm just playing with the graph to get a good sense of what's happening here. Crossing, and now I'm entering this for the first time. And notice I left, came back to, and left this vertice of odd degree. And now I have to do the same here. First I come to it, so I came to B down here, I leave it, going up, and then I know I have to come back to it again and finish the graph. So that was one of many paths I could have taken, but I would start here or here, and I encourage you to try to create other paths and maybe find ones that are more intuitive. Uh, in terms of length, they'll all be the same, but perhaps there are other ones that just feel more natural and more logical, or more logical. All right, thanks.